So as you know, my name is Kainz from the Tech Pro, and today I want to tell you briefly, maybe in less than five minutes, about uh, Zoo API Gateway. This is a very important component of microservices, and let me just tell you about it. So the main thing is you have a local network, an internal network, and you have the internet. So the question is, how does traffic come from the internet into your network securely? So let me just try to draw a schematic diagram. So there is a line. So here you have your LAN, your local network here, and here you have the internet, okay? All right? And there is someone right here trying to assess your network. Now we are talking about uh, Zoo API Gateway, we are talking in terms of microservices. So when we have an application, for instance, we have an application made up of a number of services. For instance, we have all these microservices here. Now these microservices, they are services that are is available inside your organization. You don't want users from the internet to assess all these services right here, right? Meanwhile, these services here can communicate among themselves by registering with something called a discovery server, and that is called a uh, service registry. So we have this server here, and let's call it Eureka. So this is the service registry. All these services is going to register with this service registry right here, okay? So in that way, when one microservice wants to talk to another microservice, it's going to query the service registry and find out the information about this microservice and be able to communicate. Now, someone from the internet cannot get across to these services right here, okay? They can't get here because it will create a security problem. And you also somehow, you don't want the people from the internet to query your discovery server. You don't want them having access to registry of all your services. So how do you allow somebody from here to access only one single service, let's say this one? Okay, so let's say this particular service, let me just draw it here. So this app, how do you, of course, this app is also registered with the Eureka server in the service registry. Okay, so how do you want, allow this guy to access just one single app in your local network without having to query your discovery server? That is where an API gateway comes in. So let me give you a typical scenario. You have a hospital information system. You have this hospital information system where we have the pathology, we have the radiology, we have the, um, the emergency, we have a whole lot of things right inside there. But you want to expose the appointment service to the internet so that people can actually book appointment with your hospital from the internet, all right? So one of these services, there is the appointment service, all these services are internal. But appointment service, you want people from the internet to be able to access the appointment service. And that is where an API gateway comes into play. So if you want users from the internet to access just one single service on your local network without having to query your service registry to get access to all your services, you can give access to one single service or one single app inside your local network via an API gateway, okay? So you allow this app, you allow this app to register also with the API gateway. So that's how easy it is, but I'm going to explain more. So when this guy comes and he says, I want to assess a page, right? He says he wants to assess a page, let's say, let's say um, appointment.html Okay, so when he wants to access this page, he's going to make this request to the API gateway. And the API gateway is now going to direct him to inside your local network, but only to this app. So what we do in Spring, because we are going to do this in Spring Boot after now, to, to do this actually uh, live coding to see how it, uh, how it actually works. So what you do here, you have to do a mapping in the application.properties file and you are going to specify something like path and you are going to specify the route, okay? And the service. So you are going to say 
if a request comes that matches a particular URL pattern leading to the service. So you are going to say the service name, the service name, the path, for instance, API star star. So if a request is coming into your network and it hits this, the Zool API gateway, we are going to be talking about Zool because Zool is an implementation of an API gateway provided by Spring Framework. So if this request comes from the, from the internet into your network, it's going to hit the API gateway. The API gateway is going to direct this request to this specific application without having access to other microservices. So the Zool API gateway is a gateway that helps direct um, traffic or requests coming into your network to a particular microservice that you want to be exposed to the internet or to the outside of your network. So hopefully this is very clear. And just one, one thing to do to specify this, you need to just specify it in, in, in maybe application.properties file or in, the, in a YAML file. So let's try to do this. So if you look at the description box of this video, you see a, a tutorial on how to implement this step by step and just follow along. And this is so easy as I've explained it. So I'm going to stop now. I remain kind to the tech pro. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And if you have any challenges whatsoever, please let me know as well.